Welcome to part 5 of this series where we take a look at the origin of Dota 2's items and abilities. Many of Warcraft 3's golems have the ability Hurl Boulder, which throws a rock at an enemy. This can be found in the mud golems of neutral camps, as well as the Earth Spirit from Brewmaster's Ultimate. Alchemist of Warcraft 3 shares a lot of similarities with the Alchemist of Dota 2. Most notably, Chemical Rage, which increases the movement speed and attack speed of the Alchemist. In Warcraft 3, Chemical Rage does not increase regeneration. Bob and weave, you fool! I'll shake that right up. Note that Alchemist becomes purple and takes out his blades. Secondly, Transmute can target an enemy unit, transforming it instantly into gold. This is the basis of the item Hand of Midas. Don't rush me. The Naga Sea Witch can use Fork Lightning to hit units in a cone. When you change the color from blue to red, it becomes Ether Shock given to Shadow Shaman. <sighs> when active, Frost Arrows can slow the movement speed of units hit by the Naga's right click. This is the basis a frost arrow given to Drow Ranger. Nice. Mana Shield when active transfers a portion of the damage taken to the Mana Pool. This Mana Shield is given to Medusa. The Tornado ability has two aspects to it. First, it creates an invincible tornado which deals damage in an area of effect. Secondly, that tornado can cyclone units it touches. The first part can be found in the neutral camps in the Wild Kingdom. The second part uh, is implemented as part of Invoker's Tornado. The Tinker's Cluster Rockets, after fired, have a one second delay, but then stun enemy units. Changing the model, this becomes Avalanche, given to Tiny. Yeah. The Beastmaster's Summon Bear ability summons a bear. This is given to Lone Druid in his Summon Spirit Bear ability. To track. I wander alone. Quill Beast will create a Quill Beast. In Dota, this is given to Beastmaster for his Quill Boar ability. The Beastmaster also has Summon Hawk, which creates an invisible Hawk unit. In Warcraft 3, this hawk can attack. The Beastmaster's Stampede creates sprites which travel across the screen, and when they collide into something, they explode, dealing damage. This was transformed into Tinker's March of the Machines ability. Our paths converge. The dark creature is Silence, silences units in uh, radius and has been given to Death Prophet. If that is your wish. Life Train damages an enemy while healing yourself and has been given to Pugna for his ultimate. If that is your wish. The Fire Lord has the ability Summon Lava Spawn. The unit created, although it has a duration, will refresh some of its duration, grant itself more life, and multiply after a couple of times when it attacks an enemy. Although the spell itself hasn't made it into Dota 2, this unit has, and has been given to Enigma as his Eidolon. A recent patch of Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne changed how Incinerate works. And Incinerate is now a, an ability that uh, uses mana. 
the old incinerate has been renamed Fury Spikes, which works identically to how Fury Spikes works in Dota 2, given to Ursa. Every time you attack an enemy, it increases the damage done by the subsequent attacks. This also has a secondary ability that if the enemy ex dies, it explodes. That explosion part has been given to Caustic Finale for the Sand King. Ashes to ashes. The Pandarian Brewmaster's Breath of Fire has been passed on to Dragonite. I'll give it a shot. The Brewmaster's Drunken Brawler is the only ability in all of Warcraft 3 which has both a percent chance to dodge and a percent chance to crit. In Dota 2, this is currently a passive, also given to the Brewmaster. The ability Storm, Earth and Fire transforms the Brewmaster into three elementals. It works almost identically now in Dota 2. Most notably, the Storm Elemental still holds Cyclone, Dispel Magic, and Windwalk. The Fire Elemental still holds permanent emulation. The Pitlord's Reign of Fire throws fireballs from the sky and is very similar to Underlord's Fire Reign as well. What a foolish ploy. Cleaving Attack allows the Pitlord to hit multiple units at once. This was transformed into Greater Cleave and given to Sven. To the slaughter. Doom kept its name in Dota 2. When targeted on the unit, it silences them and deals damage over time. You fail to abuse me. The only ability borrowed from the Naga Siren is Parasite, which when cast on an enemy gives them a debuff. When that enemy dies, it creates a small minion which can attack on your behalf. This debuff is what's used by Broodmother in Spawn Spiderlings. I'm hooked. The Goblin Sapper has Kaboom, which is the origin of Techie's suicide ability. And finally, the last ability that's given by a unit is shared between the Snapdragon and the Dryad. It is slow poison. When attacking something, it slows them a little bit and deals damage over time. This was given to Venomancer's Poison Sting and Beastmaster's Quillbore Slow Dart. And that's it for part 5. Coming up next is part 6 when we're going to look at all of these items. <laughs>